Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Part Beauty. Um, I'm just going to put my face on, I think you probably guessed that. A few new bits, a few bits you've seen already and just a chat. Um, skin's prepped and done and we're going to get on. I've got some of the Rouge Bunny Rouge Serene Light Skin Perfector. This is a primer and it evens out the skin tone. I'm actually going to use another base product as well as... Um, as this just to give it a little bit more coverage the other one is very very lightweight though but I'm just going to pop it on uh, on a brush just to pump and it already has color on it but it's a really really nice skin brightener primer tint a little bit of everything it doesn't give a tremendous amount of coverage I think it just brightens more than anything but I do I do like it um, it is a very very nice product and you don't need a lot to work it over the skin and I adore the packaging right I have some Glossier ha 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 surprise skin tint something you've all been asking about the skin tint I finally um, got some I got it in medium which is just about the right shade for me I could have probably gone a little bit darker it's it's an odd one really. Their lights are exceptionally light, which is good if you have a fair skin tone because it can be a struggle. Just icing it onto the face works, to be honest. And you can just add more if you need to. I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to press that into the skin. It is extremely lightweight. It works so well over this skin perfector. I really like the two together. So it's a very sort of natural bright look. That's so nice. I do like it. One or two people said, oh, I don't think you like it. But sometimes I do like very lightweight, subtle finishes to makeup. And the skin tint, as long as you give it a really good shake and apply it straight to the face, I think it works really well. Um, but yes, I like it's just your skin but better. I do like it. I like the consistency. It's good. Right. So that's skin tint in medium. But as I say, I could probably just take it a little bit darker, although that's blended quite nicely. I probably would take it darker. Right, more Glossier. Sorry, folks, I know you must be bored of it by now. Light and medium stretch concealer. Um, I like to put the light into the corner where I'm darkest. And just pat that with the warmth of my ring finger. Right, I have Beauty Pie. And I have a bronzer, which I love, just to add a little bit of something to the base. This time of year, I don't like to put too much bronzer on because it, it just doesn't look right. The light changes this time of year. Um, but just to add a little bit. Right, I have the Zoeva Cafe palette, which is absolutely glorious. I do love it. Um, and I'm going to start with some of the tasting note, which is this matte shade here. I'm just going to put that above my eye. So just on the mobile lid to start with. I've not used this shade, so I'm just going to press it on. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's very nice Want to see that in action just take it over the whole mobile lid that smooths quite nicely that's lovely I was going to use the green but since I'm wearing a pink top actually there's no reason why I couldn't have put green on let's be honest but I'm funny like that I like things to sort of at least look halfway as though they they should be working together but that's lovely and taking it up as I tend to do with my colour because it would be lost if I just left it on the mobile lid droopy eyes and everything there we go, lovely oh, 
that's lovely I don't think I'm going to take it underneath the eye though I'm actually going to use the cup of joy which is this matte chocolate brown under the eye one thing I don't think I told you if I'm repeating myself I apologize but um, I'll tell you the basics because I don't want to go into too much detail because um, it's not essentially my story to tell but um, Craig won an award through his work this month a um, couple of it must be maybe about five or six weeks ago um, a gentleman fell into the water and he was with a friend but he fell into the water and where he was there were lots of pontoons so lots of walkways and boats you know tied up and everything and he fell into the water and he went under the pontoon and his friend obviously didn't I mean somebody who's wet and heavy and trying to get them out of the water and it was at night as well although they are lit up the pontoons it's you know it's still an environment that you wouldn't want somebody to fall in the water and he'd fallen in the water under the pontoon his friend luckily had managed to keep hold of him and tried to ring for help which he managed to do and Craig happened to be on duty and I think I've told you before he used to be a lifeguard and he's trained people to be lifeguards and he's done first aid and trained first aid so he's very very switched on and he's very good in a crisis he's just steady he can just straight away and he got down there and luckily um he's got some muscle behind him he used to be a rugby player and he's very very strong and he luckily was able to get this chappy out of the water with the help of a friend um that was there with this gentleman and sadly realized that the gentleman wasn't breathing um, which was obviously a horrible situation but the good news is that the gentleman um, made it craig did what he had to do the gentleman was taken to hospital and he is now home and well and yes uh craig saved his life and he has been um awarded a prize and sort of a star award for where he works for what he's done but he's very low-key about these things he's very much if you can do something do it and then he just gets on with it because for him it's quite normal he's done a lot of life saving he's saved quite a few lives in his job as a lifeguard so not that he takes it for granted but he doesn't like to make a big song and dance about it so that happened and I'm absolutely proud as anything of him I think it's wonderful I have some of the Glossier and now Glossier again I just love everything I've got Glossier Boy Brow which you hear a lot about I have it in brown and is it any different to any other brow gel it is I have to say I was very cynical about this there is something about and this seems to be Glossier as a whole the consistency of this and what I found I've had the benefit um brow gel which i didn't like i loved the rimmel and i still love the rimmel because it's a good price and although the brush is a little bit bigger i do like the size of the brush but it's the consistency of this there's just something about it that it, it almost glues itself to your brows it's not watery some of them are so watery that you actually see them running through your brow but you just know they're not really holding anything but this feels like it's brushing through, leaving a bit of colour and definition. But I do like it. I really did think oh, it's just going to be another brow product. But I can see why it's their number one seller um, if you're really into your brows. And a lot of people are because it really is a good product. I do, do like it. So, yes, it's a thumbs up for me. I have some of the Mina um, Pencil Eyeshadow Um I don't think there's a colour on this anywhere. No, there isn't. Um, yeah, I'm just going to line the top of my lids. And I'm just going to soften that down with the brush. And then I'm also going to go in with the DHC liner. 
So liner on liner. I used to do that in my 20s. I used to line my lids with wet eyeshadow and then use a liner over the top. Um, and I was thinking about it the other day and thought, gosh, I haven't done that for a long time. So just It just adds a little bit of depth to the eye. So I'm not going to go extreme with the DHC. Just a subtle line there. I have um, a little of the Victoria Beckham edit from Estee Lauder, which is the Aura Gloss. Um, you can use it on your lips or you can use it on your cheeks, which is what I'm going to do. And it's just a shimmery gold um, gloss. It's okay. It sort of does the job. It does give you that little healthy sheen to the face. It's not particularly sticky, even though you probably imagine it is. But it is a very delicate finish, and I do like that. But I don't think it's... It's like a lot of things. If you have a certain name attached to it, you immediately think it's better. Um, if this had just a standard drugstore name you probably wouldn't think it was so great it's okay I think it's all overpriced but again if you've got a good name and I'm not just aiming that at Victoria Beckham you know Tom Ford Chanel they all have a really good you know markup because of the names um, but it's okay it's okay I know a lot of people love it and yes I will use it but I wouldn't rush to buy it again. Right, I have this which you may remember I bought because I just loved the colour and thought oh, I really don't want to use it but you've got to use things, it's silly and it's this blusher from Rouge Bonnet Rouge in Orpheline 036 and then Rouge Bunny Rouge read my review and we emailed and they said would you like to choose something and I chose something and then they sent me this massive parcel of lots of blushes included another one of these and the skin perfection lots of other things so I'm using this quite happily I love it and I have the powder brush from Claudia Schiffer which I have used and washed and it's great and it washes well and it's so soft and it's just great for adding the right amount of blusher to the face. The one thing I will say about the Victoria Beckham Aura is it's a really good product if you want to kind of stick your blusher down. Um, powder blusher does sort of stick to it in a nice way. This is the perfect brush to put it on. But there you go. But I love that. I mean that is just, ugh, perfection adore it really good mascara yes i think it's worth the hype which is the paradise ecstatic and it is from l'oreal i don't know why i always forget who makes it but i like it i love the wand it is super super chunky and thick and lots of product and it's just great i do feel though if you want a little bit of a varying review rather than me always saying things are fantastic I do think it's the kind of mascara that will dry out quite quickly it leaves an awful lot of products at the top of the packaging um, so I do think yeah can you see you get an awful lot of gunk at the top and often mascaras like that are the ones that really do dry out very very quickly I do wipe it down um with the tissue but uh yeah it's the downside sometimes of having a really chunky loaded wand but i love this mascara this is just a lola lip liner, um, I just wanted to fill my lips and it's in berry. Such a nice colour. You could leave that as it is and I often do just leave lip liner on but I'm actually going to put a balm over the top, it's Glossier again, it's the Cherry Balm. The only negative about this 
and it's purely down to the fact that it's my base colour. This is the actual colour of the balm, which is beautiful, but because my lip colour is quite dark naturally, it doesn't really give it a tremendous amount of colour. It is only a tinted balm, to be fair. Um, but... Oh. It smells amazing. This cherry balm is just... Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. I love the peel on my lips. It is petroleum at the end of the day. It is like a Vaseline, but it does have more adherence to it. And I like to use it over a lip liner just to soften it down, not to make it as dry on the lips. And I think that's it. She says, looking at the pile. Yes, we've used everything. I'm not going to use a setting spray because I'm not going out. I've been using the Urban Decay D Slick. Um, I don't like it as much as the All Nighter. I bought the D Slick and I bought the All Nighter because I used my PR sample of All Nighter. But I wanted to try some of the others. But I'll use it, but I'll go back to All Nighter. I think that's the best one out there. But there we go. So, sort of a autumnal berry, lots of pinky going on on the face. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the chat, the jibber jabber as Craig calls it. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Take care until then. Bye for now. Music